Hi, back again for another video, and uh, I think I want to talk about um, the problem and issue, because the issue is sin. Like, in the lives we live, the only thing that's basically putting anyone's eternity at risk, I believe, to me, it just looks like it's sin. So, I see a lot of... Uh, content out there that basically says things along the lines of um, <clears throat> like it stresses the importance of not living in sin except and it and like that's communicated and I believe everyone watching it from looking at the comments everyone agrees um, everyone agrees a lot of people like talk about how they're stuck in like cyclical uh, sin and like it's repetitive and they have problems okay except what's not discussed is tips to get out of it beyond just saying you have to get out of it or giving encouraging words if you're prayed for that could definitely change things for you except when they're just telling you uh like they're stressing the importance of not living in sin uh, without, like, I've literally never, uh, heard any tips, okay, and for me, because on my channel here, I'm going full disclosure, because, like, I'll talk about anything that's happened in my life before, no holding back or anything, just because the whole thing of, uh, being kind of, like, tight-lipped around, like, the topic of sexual sin, like, not everyone cannot talk about it, you know, or else it just becomes a place where, um, Satan can affect someone's life and then hopefully bring them to hell because everyone's too ashamed to talk about it. And even people who have overcome, because in the Bible it says that those who overcome, like, are worthy of the kingdom of heaven. I don't know the scripture, but like, that's some, a script I remember. But, uh, yeah, those people, anyone who's overcome sexual sin, like gotten into it, you know, opened that can of worms in their life and then found a way to close it, which a lot of people, they go through their whole life being unable to find out how to close it. They basically just get stuck. It takes, you know, more thinking and I don't know, it takes uh, more than a lot of people seem to be able to like give to get out of that whole issue of sexual sin. It takes, yeah, it takes more than a lot of people have, apparently, because a lot of people get stuck in it their whole life, like, a lot. But, uh, yeah, anyone that's overcome it, I never hear any tips. I just hear them saying they overcome it. Um, obviously, if someone gets married, then that kind of changes things for them, except for somebody who's, you know, at a time in their life where they're not married yet, I'm not. Um then, uh, you know, my tip that I found is the problem area is usually when you're in bed, okay, because there's nothing to do, and that's usually, you know, idle hands do the devil's work, everyone's heard that one, so, yeah, when you're in bed, have nothing to do, and then it seems like you fall back on old habits like I was, which was I was in a repetitive uh, cycle of, of masturbation, okay? And that was from, you know, when I was probably like 13 it started, and then onwards to like maybe like a year ago. Um, you know, I was stuck in that cycle, and the thing is of like my tip of an actual an actual thing that you can do that's not just relying on your own willpower because a lot of people's willpower seems to fail them over and over and I don't hear any tips otherwise the tip is is it's a real thing you go out and do you have to get a dog okay get your own dog you know uh so I got myself a dog okay so now uh it's a uh, little chihuahua so just a small one. It's not like the food bill is crazy or anything. But, you know, it's just a really... He's a really loving little guy. And, you know, 
you get to love him. He's really cute. So, yeah, but, like, he'll, you can have your dog sleep with you in your bed. And, uh, you know, you're not going to be doing sexual sin when you have your dog in your bed with you every night sleeping with you. And that's a literal, like, concrete tip that if you do, you can like, you know, physically through action, help yourself break out of sexual sin. If your willpower seems to be failing you, because it's, this isn't something that like, you should just do nothing about physically and then just struggle with it in your mind and then do the sin and then struggle with it more mentally about how you, you're so bothered that you're still in it and you're trying to break free. Well, this is a literal physical thing that you can do to end it right now today is you go out and you get yourself a dog so that's that's my tip as far as that that's literally what i did and it's lots of fun to have a dog uh a lot of people do eventually get one for themselves um but yeah a lot of people just live uh It's, yeah, it's pretty bad, but, um, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to, uh, say. I was thinking of that for a couple days is that I wanted to get out my tip of what to do as quickly as I could car, but, uh, but yeah, it's important that you do take action because, you know, you don't want to just be idle with a problem that could have endangered your afterlife. Like the Bible says, if your hand causeth you to sin, then it's better for you to cut it off than and enter heaven uh, missing a part of your body than to have your whole body thrown into hell. That that one. So, you know, that basically kind of says to me that, like, not only is it that serious that you're better to be maimed than to go to hell, it's that you should do everything in your power before having to, you know, do that. And, like, obviously you're not supposed to actually do that, you know, but it just speaks to the gravity of the situation of how serious it is. And so I see the best cause, the best thing you can do, really is just go out and get yourself a dog because that's taking action that'll fix your problem. And other than that, you just want to be busy. But for a lot of people, um, like, you know, when they're just in their bedroom, like having the dog there, you know, just always your companion in life, that, like that's going to solve the problem for like most people, really. Whereas they couldn't solve it before on their own potentially. So taking action like that is a really good thing to do. Um, yeah, so as far as talking about um, spiritual warfare, um, I mentioned this in my testimony video, but like the audio is pretty bad. So basically what I wanted to like just touch on, just because talking about, talking about spiritual things that have happened in my life are basically important to say, you know, because it's something I can talk on. It's my own experience. So, uh, so yeah, when like the first time that, uh, I'd ever, um, committed the sin of masturbation, I was like 13 years old and, uh, it was on like a, a laptop on a site and, uh, and, uh, when I began doing that act, literally, um, it wasn't fully, like, physical, except some sort of, like, a, a mass of something I felt literally enter my mouth and slide down my throat, and it went down, like, the pipe into my stomach, then settled in the bottom of my stomach, and it had heat to it, it had weight to it, it stretched my throat out slightly as it went down. And I just froze up thinking, um, like, 
like this feels dangerous but like is this some sort of like a a natural body occurrence like it it kind of froze me up just because i never felt my body do that anymore like before something literally entering me and going down my throat and it just like 